Um, so you have a couple blog posts on your website, uh, and I wanted to go over a couple of them. Uh, sure. So the first one uh, was kind of uh, circling around your injuries. Um, and you, you mentioned that you experienced two ACL tears, if I'm remembering right. Close. Uh, a shoulder surgery and, a, and then my ACL tear. Sorry, right. Um, so with these two, uh, what kind of mental strain was there when you experienced not one, but two uh, rock bottom, quote unquote, injuries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really difficult time in my life. And, it, you know, it wasn't too too long um in 2016 kind of after my year playing overseas um I was in France at the time and I kind of had you know this overused shoulder injury that I knew I needed time, some time off and I would plead with my coach like hey like I don't think I can actually play this match like I just need like two weeks to get my shoulder back into shape but I never got that and and I ended the year and came home and had to get surgery and that was like one of the hardest things to have to overcome for a couple of reasons, like the first being that I had never been injured before in my life. Like I, I had barely rolled an ankle. So it was out for like, you know, maybe one game or one practice, but I was the type of athlete that like, even if I was so sick and like, couldn't move, I was still going to show up for practice. So <laughs> I had to take, you know, a month where I was in this sling and couldn't move my arm. Daily things became really challenging to do. I had to rely on a lot of people to help me out in those first couple of weeks. Um, and I was with the national team at the time, but this was the year that um, the indoor national team was moving from Winnipeg to Vancouver. So I had actually no one there to help me through that recovery. And I really had to go through it alone. Um, and then I felt like I had my like midlife athlete crisis of, you know, who am I without volleyball? What am I going to do with my future? Like, am I going to be able to play when I come back from this? Um, so that was really, really stressful to go through. And, and it was certainly really challenging. And I think that was a lot of the, you know, darkest times in my life um, for obviously all those reasons that I just kind of explained. Um, but I knew that I wanted to leave the sport on my, my own terms. So doing the rehab, watching extra video, doing like literally anything that I could to still keep myself within it. Um, I had made the decision to switch over to the beach game. So reaching out to the coaches here in Toronto and trying to set myself up, up that way. Um, it just gave me something to look forward to and it made it a little bit easier to overcome those like last couple of months when the first couple months were really challenging. Um, and then in 2017, I moved here and this was maybe a year after my shoulder recovery, like I was feeling pretty good about it. Moved here, started training. <clears throat> not even a month into training, I tore my ACL completely. So then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do the same thing all over again. And I think a lot of times when you hear ACL, you're like, oh, that's it, career's over. Or at least that's how it was in the past. Um, no one wants to hear that that's the diagnosis, you know. So um, that one honestly was a lot easier to over overcome because I knew what I had gone through in the last year prior to that with my shoulder, I knew the things that I had to do. Um, I knew I had to work really hard at rehab. And again, like I had this vision for myself of wanting to leave the sport on my own terms. So that was um, kind of the driving factor to be able to keep a positive mind when it would have been so easy to be like, that's it. I'm hanging up my, up my shoes. I'm done. Uh, this sport is not for me. Clearly the, the universe is trying to show me a sign and I should probably step away, but I decided I wanted to do it on my own terms. So um, yeah, it was really, really challenging. I think anyone who's injured can can attest to that. But uh, I think if you have goals um, for things that you want to do with your sport or whether you want to continue or not, it makes it easier to kind of get through that. Yeah, the uh, the injuries really make you take a step back and think. And like, so my, my last season of swimming was uh, – was ruined by a back injury, like nerve damage and everything. And it, I really had to like take a step back. And like you said, go, who, who am I without swimming? 
And it, at first it's like, it hurts because you're like, man, I, you know, you've spent like over a decade or however long you've been in it doing this one thing. And then it's just taken away Mm -hmm. and it really makes you sit and like reevaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's so challenging when you invest so much of your time and energy to a sport, to have it taken away in an instant from one, you know, small or big injury. But exactly to your point, I think um, continuing to ask yourself, you know, who am I without my sport and figure that part of your life out, that is going to go like leaps and bounds beyond um, anything. Like I think if I could have done that before my injury, I would have been in a a much better place going through that. Um, So whenever I, you know, talk to younger athletes, I really try and encourage them to figure out the things that they like um, besides volleyball, whether it's something as small as like writing or something as big as this is what I want to do with my future when I'm finished playing. This is my career path, you know, really figuring out those, those small things that make your life happier. That's great because most athletes just have tunnel vision most of the time. They're just focused on, you know, getting a time or getting a win and they don't worry about the long term. And then you get to the long term and you're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, so in in that blog post, uh, you have this the, you have the title that says "Injured Never Broken." So I love I love that. But what do you mean by this for the viewers? And then what should other injured athletes uh, watching this episode hear? Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess "Injured Never Broken" means that. Although an injury is incredibly challenging, it is not going to break who you are as a human being. And a lot of that is, you know, figuring those those things outside of sport out and doing some deep soul searching, if you will, to to figure out the things that make you you and um, just realizing that you are more than your sport more or less like there is more to you as a human being than just being a volleyball player um and again for for anyone who's injured that's what i would reiterate is figuring out those things that make you who you are and dedicating time and energy and effort into those um i think sport will be there if you always like choose to let it be there for you know x amount of time we can't play until we're 100 years old (laughs) Um, but it will always be there if you want it to be there while you're in your youth but it's important to you know figure out the other things that are going to bring you joy because sport is going to at a certain point of time you know be the thing that you're going to not focus all your time and energy into and you've got to have something else to to ground you um, and give you something to look forward to (music) 